Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing another Q&A which I'm going to sort of treat like a part two to the first one that I did just over a week ago um, because I did want to get through all the questions that were left for me and there were so many so thank you for that. And I realised when I was filming the first one that the video was going to be super long and if I included them all in the first video it would take days to upload on my internet. So this is the part two where I'm going to answer all the questions that I couldn't fit in the first one and I think we're going to get through all of them today. If you haven't seen my first Q&A I will leave it linked at the top of the screen and in the description. Our first question is from Candice and she asked what are your hobbies? A hobby that I've had for a really long time is dancing. At the moment I do both ballet and contemporary dance lessons every week. Um, I used to have a lot more hobbies when I was younger but as I grew up I guess I they kind of just dropped off. Um, I used to do karate, gymnastics and horse riding. But, as an adult, I've kind of just stuck with dance. Coco's the Hamster asked for my dream pets. Um, I don't really have any dream pets. I'm not really someone who wants to own, like, a variety of animals. Um, it's never something that I've had much interest in. In fact, I can't really think of any animal that, like, is a goal for me to get when I'm older. So, yeah, I guess we'll just see ha what happens. <laughs> Ellie's House asked for my star sign. I am a Taurus. Hey it's Mo asked what do I feed my hamsters, so I feed my hamsters Harry Hamster food mix and then they also get fresh fruit and vegetables, um, I'd say the most common ones I give are cucumber, carrots and broccoli but just because they're what's most common in my fridge I guess, um, and then they have like a mix of dried herbs and sometimes some like biscuit treats and pets at home even though I am kind of moving away from those I'm going more towards herb mixes now um, but I do still have some like on the shelves that I'll give occasionally Erin's Pets asked for toy recommendations um, I can't really think of any toys that I have that I think oh yeah every hamster like needs that one specifically but I do think that stuff made out of um, grass is really great so you can get like grassy hides um, tunnels in loads of different shapes. Bieber has a couple and I think they're really popular um, with all the hamsters so yeah I think they're a great option. Um, gives a nice natural look to your cage as well. She also asks for the best Syrian wheel. I use the Trixie 28cm wheel uh, mostly because it was the most accessible to me. I couldn't really find a lot of options and um, the ones I could find were really expensive so I went with the Trixie one off Amazon first just to give it a go since it was the cheapest and I turned out really liking it um, I liked it so much that at the time when I had Pat I also bought him one even though he had a wheel that was the right size of him but just because I wanted a quieter one so yeah I think those wheels are really nice just ask for the best cages on the market I think if you want to see all of the cages that there are on the market um, that are suitable the best place to look is Zoo Plus because they have all of them um, so there are a couple of the Savic ones that you can get in like Pets at Home and things although personally my favourite cage and the one I would recommend um, to everybody who's looking is the Detolf I don't think you can beat it and obviously that is from Ikea um, if you don't fancy such a big DIY project as making the um, wooden lid for the Detail, you can go with the Samla, which is also from Ikea, um, in case you just wanted to go to a store where you can actually pick it up, and I know you can't go to a lot of pet stores and pick up cages, um, so Ikea is also a good option. Erin also asks for good hamster food mixes. I use Harry's Hamster, and that's kind of the one I've used from the start, so I haven't really tried anything else. I did use Pets at Home's own hamster muesli for a while, um, but I mixed it in with the Harry's Hamster anyway. They are very similar food mixes. Um, I don't do that anymore. But um, I noticed there are quite a lot of foods, especially if you're shopping online, you can get a lot of different variety of food. I've never had any issues with Harry's Hamster though, but if I did, there is plenty out there to try. Anna asks, if you shop at Pets at Home, what is your favourite thing to buy for the hamsters in there? Love your channel. Thank you, Anna, that's really sweet. Um, I do shop at Pets at Home, not as much as I used to, mind you. It is quite expensive in there and there are a lot of alternative shops, um, especially online to go to. Even places like Amazon are great to buy hamster things from. But um, I do constantly buy chews from there. I think they have a good variety of chews in there and you can get some like fun looking ones as well, which is always nice. Um, but I always repurchase the pack of fruit and vegetable chews. I think there's like eight in there. So um, I'd say they last me a while, but that's not really true. Because um, I do have a lot of hamsters. But if you had the one hamster, they would last you quite a while. And they seem to be quite popular. 
Our last questions are from Cecilia. She starts with, my hamster isn't much of a chewer. What can I do to get him to chew more? I had exactly the same issue with Pat. He wouldn't really chew anything. Um, so the only thing that I did start off with was just try him with a variety of chews. So you'd have, you know, like your harder wooden chews and then some looper chews, a load of different textures just thrown in there to see if he would take to anything. If you are struggling to still get him to chew, I'd recommend things that are advertised as like edible. So you can get like, a lot of different edible things really, tunnels, hides. I was a bit cautious about these at first because I did think, oh, if I just put one in, they're just gonna chew it all night and it'll be gone in the morning. And I do think it's something you need to keep an eye on if you do put one in. But I recently bought an edible hide for Perlo from Wilco, but it's been in there a couple of weeks and I can't actually see any visible damage to it yet. So I'm happy with how long it's lasting like and he's not like eating it all at once. Um, so that could be a good option to get your hamster to chew since it is like food and they will be attracted to it. The last thing I can think of is the use of Whimsy Chews. Um, my hamsters absolutely loved the Whimsy Chews when I tried them recently. Um, they didn't last very long at all. Pat's the only one that's still got a little bit of his left. Um, but I mean, even Pat was really chewing on it, which means it was popular. Um, so yeah, Whimsy Chews are a great option. Cecilia also asks, she says, uh, a hamster gets bored, so what are some tips to prevent him from not getting bored? I think the best way to combat this is to move around their enclosure um, more often than you would normally. So I would say the normal amount of time to like leave a cage as is would be about a month. Um, but you want to be mixing it up every two weeks or so, just removing some items and adding in some different ones. I do the exact same thing with Bebo because she does show me that she's getting bored after about two weeks or so. She will start to chew where the wire of the detail, like the wire insides, um, meet the wooden lid. Uh, and this shows me that it's time to move some things around for her because she wants something new. Cecilia's last question is, what enormous storage bins are there out there to turn into a DIY cage? I wish there were way bigger storage bins available to me in the UK, I just can't find any. When I was looking for Polo, the largest one I could find was the Samler bin from Ikea. Um, I do have a video all about that cage, so if you want to see that, I'll leave it linked both at the top and in the description. Um, but that was the largest one I could find at the time, so that is what he has. Um, more recently, I did almost end up with two more hamsters. It's a bit of a long story, but um, I was going to attempt to rehome them, and for that, I wanted them to be in plastic, um, either plastic cages or plastic storage bins, just so when it came for someone to either pick them up or I could drop them off, they would be easy to move around. So I did ask on my Instagram if anyone knew of any. One person very kindly linked me to these ones sold at Asda in the UK and they were 150 litre wheeled storage bins. And after looking at them, I do think they would be either of a similar size or maybe even bigger than the Samler bin. Um, I did end up needing them in the end, but if I ever was going to get um, another bin cage for any reason, I would probably give those ones a go. I will leave them linked in the description of this video. So thank you everybody who left a question. I do really appreciate it. I'm sorry I had to split the video in two. I really wasn't expecting so many questions, but I've had so much fun filming these Q and A's. It was just something I really wanted to give a go. So thank you for letting me, I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.